Wanasema ukistaajabu ya Musa utayaona Firauni. Mrembo na star wa reality TV wa nchini Marekani Stephanie Mato mwenye umri wa miaka 31, hivi karibuni amejipatia umaarufu kwa kufanya moja ya biashara za ajabu kabisa ambazo umewahi kuzisikia. Stephanie anauza vijambo vyake ama thoughts kwa kimombo. Na hivi karibuni alidai kuwa ameingiza zaidi ya dola 1500 kwa wiki moja tu ambazo ni takriban shilingi milioni na tano Mkazi huyo wa Connecticut amejipatia umaarufu baada ya kutokea kwenye kipindi cha 90 Day Fiance na kisha kuanzisha channel yake ya YouTube. Hata hivyo ametangaza kuachana na biashara hiyo baada ya kutengeneza karibu dola laki mbili ambazo ni zaidi ya shilingi milioni moja na ni baada ya kutoa hewa hiyo chafu kwa kiasi kikubwa kiasi ambacho kimemletea shida. Tovuti ya New York Post imeripoti. Stephanie alikimbizwa hospitali akiwa na maumivu ya kifua na kuhofia kuwa na dalili za shambulio la moyo. Baada ya kufanyiwa lundo la vipimo, mrembo huyu aliambiwa kuwa hali hiyo imetokana na kula sana mayai na maharage. Nilidhani nilikuwa napata kiharusi, yani stroke. Na huu ndio ulikuwa wasa wangu wa mwisho, amesema kwenye mahojiano na Jam Press. Nilikuwa nafanya kupita kiasi. Sasa huyu anayejiita Fat Preneur yani mjasiria mali wa utoaji hewa chafu amesema alikuwa anatoa hewa hiyo na kujaza kwenye makopo hamsini kwa wiki ili kuendana na oda za wateja wake naweza kusema kuwa kuna kitu akikuwa sawa siku hiyo jioni nilikuwa nimelala kitandani na nikawa na hisi pressure tumboni kipanda juu ilikuwa ngumu kidogo kupumua na kila nilipokuwa najaribu kupumua nilihisi maumivu sehemu ya moyo alisema na hapo ndipo wasiwasi uliongezeka nilimpigia simu rafiki yangu na kumuomba nipeleke hospitali sababu nilihisi kupata mshtuko wa moyo hii hapa ni picha ambayo New York Post ameweka ambayo inaonesha alipokuwa amelazwa hospitali iliwekwa wazi kuwa sikuwa napata kiharusi au mshtuko wa moyo lakini ni maumivu ya kuwa na gesi nyingi sana nilishauriwa kubadilisha mlo wangu na kuchukua dawa za kupunguza gesi kitu ambacho kimesitisha biashara yangu Amesema kuwa aliamua kuanzisha biashara hiyo baada ya kupata maombi mengi. Kama bahati tu nilipoweka makopo yangu kwa ajili ya kuuza, yaleanza kununuliwa kama hotcakes. Anasema, kiukweli sikuamini mahitaji hayo. Nadhani watu wengi wana matamanio haya kwa siri. Pamoja na mafanikio hayo ya kifedha, biashara yake ya kipekee imepokelewa kwa mitazamo tofauti. Kuna watu wengi wananisifia wakiniita bosi msichana wakiniambia na wapa hamasa kutoona aibu kwa vile walivyo na wanachotaka kufanya amesema Stephanie lakini kwa upande mwingine watu wananiponda sana nimekuwa nikitishiwa hadi kifo watu wananiambia nikatishe maisha yangu na kadhalika ameongeza amekiri kuwa familia yake imefurahi ameachana na biashara hiyo ya ajabu na kupitia TikTok ameweka pia uh, hiyo screenshot ya post ya New York Post na akawa ame kama anaonesha kusikitika hivi kuachana na biashara na katika hiyo video akawa ameandika when you can't sell fat gels anymore na kuweka emoji ya kulia so bado ni maarufu lakini kupitia TikTok amekuwa akitengeneza video zingine na ndio hivyo ameshiriki kwenye isho inaitwa 90 day fiance ambayo hivi karibuni tulimuona uh, Rosa Ree akishiriki katika episode moja unaona kwa hiyo ni show inayotazamwa sana kwa hiyo ana maarufu pande huo So akawa anatumia huo maarufu pia kwa ajili ya kufanya hii biashara yake ya ajabu ajabu ambayo hata hivyo imebidi achane nayo kwa sababu imemletea madhara kiafya. Ndio mambo ya dunia hayo. Tupia comment yako na subscribe ili kupata taarifa nyingi zaidi. I made $45,000 in one week selling my jars of farts. And ever since my last TikTok went viral, I've been getting a lot of questions such as how long do the farts last? Did I really fart 97 times in 2 days? Who buys my farts and why? And what are some of my tips and tricks? So the first question I get asked a lot is how long do the farts last and the smell is most prominent for the first two days but as I like to say one whiff makes memories that last a lifetime. Now why do people buy my farts in a jar? I honestly think it's because I have a really good personality and also because I'm hot. Now what are some of my fart selling tips and tricks? Number 1. Don't eat fiber one bars. You might think it's the easy way out, but there is nothing easy about it on its way out. You know what I mean? Don't push yourself too hard, literally and figuratively. Just have fun and don't let people judge you or get you down. It's a business. You're making money and it's not hurting anyone.
this holiday season, buy a jar and support local small business. Link is in my IG. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and support. It has been seriously overwhelming. I am getting flooded with DMs with people asking how they can do this, how they can get one. And it's been seriously amazing. So thank you so much. Happy holidays.